Hi, I'm Lexis Ross and I'm reporting from Cannon Beach. I'm here with some citizen scientists from Coast and we're out here looking for some dead birds. My name is Rita Catching. I'm Pete Catching. We are citizen scientists. I'm Patrick Reynolds. I'm Lori Reynolds and we're Coast volunteers. And uh, we're a team. We've been doing this since uh, 2002. Julia Parrish is the founder of the Coastal Observation and Seabird Survey Team, also known as COAST, and she travels all over training citizens to collect data for her organization. Citizen science is that perfect blend of the social and the data-driven. It makes me realize that science, science is a social thing. It's not something that you do all by yourself. It's something that you do with a team of people, and I just have a really, really large team. We go out once a month uh, to the same beach and we uh, walk a mile and we search for dead birds. We call them beach birds, so it doesn't sound so bad. And we learn to identify those from limited information. Usually with like a head and a wing and a foot. <laughs> we have uh, three measurements that we take. We do an identification and, uh, and record, uh, record all that. We take a couple photos for verification. Seabirds are really good way of keeping the pulse of the ecosystem, and that's because they're really easy to see and they're really easy to monitor. In fact, they're a lot easier to monitor than fish because fish are under the surface of the ocean and birds are on top of it. So when we see mass mortality events of seabirds, we know they are not the only things that are dying. We tell people that we look for dead birds and the immediate reaction is, ew, but yet when we find a bird and we actually do the work of identifying it and um, measuring it and looking it up in the book and finding out about the bird, it's, a, it's just interesting is the only word to describe it. We have learned so much. When I started Coast, I thought, well, who's going to be interested in going out on the beach and finding dead birds? People who were interested, it turns out, are people who have a really, really strong connection to a particular place on the beach. It's, it's their beach. They speak about it that way. They don't say, I'm going to the beach. They say, I'm going to my beach. Neither of us spent our careers in science, so this is one way to keep learning after we've retired and produce a database of information that will outlive us. We've got 17 years of records. So we're kind of 1,700 down. birds and counting. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing the data summarized in different ways is very, very useful. And we're part of this from Alaska to California. And uh, so I like that. It is important to people to monitor those birds and, and figure out what's going on because they are giving us signals that the larger system are changing and that's going to have ramifications to our way of life. I just find it fascinating and I'm not sure I can explain why but uh, I just I love getting a close look at the birds that I would never get just looking through binoculars. I feel like we're in a revolution. I feel like last century, last millennium, that was the century of academic science, that science is performed inside the walls, the ivory tower of the university. This century, I think this is the century of citizen science. This is the century where everybody gets involved and we break down those walls and together we use science to change the world. Right now, nature is under attack and uh, we feel like if we can contribute something to um, help salvage at least our little part of the world, then we want to do it. This has been Lexis Ross from Student Reporting Labs. Ooh!